Hey, welcome back to the channel, people. Now, we're going to kick this one off straight away with the tour. So, coming into the front door on our right, we have our little garden area with all of our deployables. And to the right of that, we have our large furnace. We also have our bunker with some drop box storage, the entrance to our vending machine, and our front door. Coming through the front door, we have three furnaces, lots of storage, our tier three, and we have some boxes underneath these rugs. We also have a cool little vending machine behind our tier 3 and our door for extra storage. We also have a locker, lots more storage and also our TC. TC upkeep for this base is very cheap once you get to further in the wipe. This base has loads of little quirks, anything you could ever need for a solo player. So without further ado, let's get straight into the build. But before we do that, over in my discord I'll be giving away this door skin. So make sure you join the discord, the link will be in the description. The winner still hasn't claimed his prize from last time, so I'll be rolling it over to win both skins. So, starting us off here, we'll start with one low foundation and two high foundations. Fill in the gap with the low foundation and cover that in with half pipes. Now we can go ahead and fill in these walls leaving these two blank, place our door and make these two wood. Now the reason you want to make them wood is so we can hatchet them out later. Go ahead and slap our door down and we can place a wall to the right of this square here. Place our TC in the left corner as close to the wall as you can and we can go ahead and place our roof. Coming up to make our airlock, we can go ahead and place one low triangle foundation, cover that in with half walls, and make our door. Coming back inside, we can start our first lock box placements, but before that you want to place a wall frame there. Now all the box placements in this video would have been sped up just to make it easier for yourself. And we can go ahead and place our tier 1. We can just about fit three furnaces in our airlock here. And place our bag exactly here in this position. Now for the rest of the box placements, as I said, it's sped up to 2 times speed. If you want to see it slower, slow it down. Now we can go ahead and place the first bit of our honeycomb, which also acts as storage. You want to make sure you do this as early as you can into your wipe so you don't get flame raided. We can now go ahead and remove the wood walls, cover one in with the doorway, and place our vending machine. Now you want to make sure you place a door before your vending machine, or else you will not be able to place the door. Don't forget to disable broadcasting on your vending machine. We can go ahead and place our tier 2 there and a locker to the right of that, covering that in with a window. We can go ahead and make a temporary shelving in the middle like so. And we can fill in the rest of our boxes. But now as you have a tier 2, we can go ahead and place the rest of our garage doors.
Now, sometimes placing these rugs can get a little bit tricky. So if you have a little play around with it, you should be able to do it. Now you don't have to place these rugs here, but I feel it sort of helps out and you don't get stuck down there so much. Now if you have a tier 3 by this point, you can place your tier 3 there, or if you really wanted to, you can place your tier 2. Right now, we can go outside and place a temporary foundation and wall to create our shelf for the inside. This will allow you to place more boxes, like so. can do the same for this bit here. Now if you have drop boxes, we can go ahead and place them like so. And that is the inside of the 2x2. Two From here, we can go ahead and honeycomb the rest of the base like so. Moving on to the bunker. We can go ahead and place two roof triangles above our doorway and two low foundations. We can cover that over the doorway and two half walls. Creating our bunker, making sure these bits are woods here. We can create a window and a doorway. Place your window down and place your doors. Now, if you have a vending machine ready, you can place it in here or you can just use a door. Jumping up here, we can create our Dropbox storage. And you can finish that off by creating your bunker, the half wall and a full wall. You can then delete the half wall and keep the full wall there. Now our bunker is a working bunker. You want to make sure these are upgraded to armoured as soon as possible.
from here, we can go ahead and place garage doors where they are needed. And we go ahead and start placing our drop boxes. Now, I only found this out the other day, but you can actually place drop boxes inside foundations. So that's what I've done here. Now you want to be careful that they're not overlapping or else you will not be able to place your bunker. From here we can go ahead and delete these walls and place doorways. Now you can fill these in with doors straight away or if you have walls we can go ahead and place them outside. This is what currently what the base should look like from the outside. From here we can go ahead and place our wood walls. Now I like to push my back up against the door and like so and place the wall like that. It means you can get it perfect pretty much every time. Do the same on the other side and you're good to go. From here, you can actually place your large furnace. And we can go ahead and start placing our deployables in our garden here. Now you can place whatever you like here. You don't have to copy what I've done, but I think what I have done fits very well. Now the tier 2 there is just so you can craft gunpowder whilst being next to your mixing table. Now you don't have to use metal barricades either, you can use uh, wood ones, but obviously metal is preferred. Now I've actually messed up here, so you want to place your barricades before your furnace or else you will not be able to place the barricade. From here, we can go ahead and start finishing off our honeycomb. So that is the base. Once you have enough materials, you can go ahead and upgrade everything to metal and some of the core inside to high quality. Hope you've enjoyed this base. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget about the giveaway in my discord. Peace.